Okay, here we go with round one. So it'll be Troy to go first. So what they're going to do, um, it's just going to go up towards that pimper bill. So Troy's going to use his two, two of his actions to move up there, but he's not going to search the car. And I'll tell you why in a minute. That is all Troy is going to do. Ivy, instead, is going to use two actions to move up to the car, and she's going to search it. So it'll either be Mars Shotgun or the Evil Twins. And it's the Evil Twins. Now the reason I had Ivy, the reason I had Ivy um, search the car is because she has Sniper. So she can use those guns and pick out who she wants at range. So we now have Chaz, and all Chaz is going to do is he's going to move up there as well, and so is Eva. Now I'm not going to have them get in the car and drive it, because there's no need, really, at the moment. That will be probably later on. So we're now going to spawn, and we're going to start up in there, and we're going to move clockwise. These cars have been shuffled. They're on blue, so it's two walkers. And I've moved the spawn zones off the map, so it's a lot easier to put the figures on. Now spawn in that point. And it's one walker. So we have a walker there. We now spawn down in this zone. One walker. I will have to try and remember to look out for... Um, manhole covers. We will now spawn in this one and it's one more walker. And I'll put those cards on the bottom of the deck. So that's the first round. So we move Troy, that one over to Ivy. So Ivy will be going first. So what will Ivy do? She can't search the car again. That car is finished with searching. So she's going to take two actions to move here and she's going to search the police car. Remember you keep turning up until a weapon appears and it's a machete so she has a machete now. So she's quite fully armed and that is her go over. We now have Chaz. Chaz is also going to move up here and search the car. Bottle water, it's not a weapon so we carry on going and he's got a zombie so the search stops the zombie appears because Chaz his special ability is one free melee action he can actually attack this zombie in hand-to-hand -hand combat and he has a crowbar the crowbar is one dice to get a four or more so he needs to kill this zombie he's got it the zombie is dead, and Chaz, just do this off screen, moves up to one on his experience bar. So that's good from Chaz. But unfortunately, his searching has stopped. So we now have uh, Eva. Eva is also going to move up, and she's going to search the car. Now, scope. We could class this as a weapon, because it is part of a weapon. Um, but you can't actually use that to attack anybody, so I'm going to stick with the rules and not bother. Next card is a, ri <laughs> a rifle. So, she's thrown away the scope, but she's now got a rifle. So that's Eva. So hopefully another scope will appear. And we finally have Troy. Troy is going to take two actions to move up and he is also going to search the car. So we don't want another zombie. Plenty of ammo doesn't count. Plenty of ammo doesn't count. And he's got a baseball bat. So he's now got a better hand-to-hand -hand weapon what he had before because he had the pan so we move the pan up and equip him with a baseball bat so that ends 
the survivors go. So we now do zombie phase, <coughs> which is uh, attack, move and spawn. So none of them can attack, so we'll move them first. So we'll start with this one, because they can see the survivors. This one can also see the survivors. This one can only go one way anyway. Now those two, because all the noise is here, got one, two, three, four spaces. One, two, three, four spaces. So they have to split. We now have spawning phase, still on blue. We have two walkers over there, that zone, nothing, so that's good, down here, one walker, and finally in this zone, and now here we have sewer, we get a walker appears in the sewer on a on a tile where there's at least one survivor. So now we've got to check the survivors are actually because they're in that zone there, they're actually on four tiles. So walkers will appear here because there's one there. There's no um, sewer on that tile, so they're safe. This tile, there is, a, there is a manhole, and there, there is a manhole. So that hasn't worked out very well for the survivors. They've got a lot to deal with now. So what I'll do is one more move, and then well, maybe two more moves, and then finish this video. So the marker moves from Ivy to Chaz. The Chaz has still only got a crowbar. He can search because he's in. There's no zombie in that zone, so he is going to search. This could be a bit risky. Right, he's got a machete. So he's got two hand-to-hand -hand weapons now. Um, so that's one of his moves. He's got two moves left plus a free uh, melee action. So what he could do is try and take out some zombies, but he's not going to. He's going to stay where he is. He's going to let the other three do it. So Eva has got a pistol and a rifle. So the pistol and the rifle, she can choose to shoot into this zone or that zone. So what she's going to do, and she's got, uh, she's going to have a go in this zone. So she's got three attempts, and she gets a plus one dice roll to ranged. So she's going to use a rifle. So one dice to get three or more. Don't forget, she gets plus one. So she's going to try and take out these three here. And she's got three goes. One plus one extra is two, so she's missed. She's got rid of one of them. Two plus one, so she gets three, so another one has gone. So Eva, let's do this off camera, is up to two. and that is all her goes over and she's created some noise. I'm not going to put noise in the zone because it's obvious that all the noise is coming from this zone so when they split up a bit that's when I put the noise tokens down. So Eva has taken out two of the zombies. So we now have Troy to go. Troy has got a sawn off shotgun and a baseball bat so what Troy is going to do, he's going to shoot his sword off shotgun into there and he's got two dice to get a three or more. 
so let's see if he can do it. He's missed, he's going to use his second action to reload, and his third action is to shoot again. Two fives, bang, both gone. Brilliant stuff. So that's Troy's go over, we now have Ivy, and Ivy has the evil twins, and she has the ability of Sniper, so she can actually choose, but she's going to use the evil twins to try and take out this zombie here. And the evil twins, if I look, is two dice to get a four or more. So she's got three chances of killing this zombie. She's missed with the first one. But she's got the second one. Bang. Zombie dead. So before I go any further, I'm just going to pause it here uh, just so I can put the markers on their cards and then I'll come back and continue um, with the zombie phase. Okay, so I've changed the markers now. Everybody's off the mark. Um, Ivy still has one go left because she took two shots to kill that zombie. Um, she has a fire axe, so she could open that door but she's not going to because they're going to be spawned. They're going to do that possibly on the next round. So what we're going to do now is we're going to move on to zombie phase. We do the easier ones to move first. Because that's the nearest, quickest route to the sound, that one won't split. And that's got one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. So that one would move one. Those two again will split. And we now have spawning phase. So we have one walker up in the top. Over there now. Two walkers. So the zombies are starting to pile up down here. two walkers and finally over here nothing so that's good and we move the marker from Chaz to Eva so it's Eva to go first she has a rifle so she can do a little bit of damage. She's going to go for the nearest zombie first. She's going to try and shoot this one. She's got three chances to get a three or more. And she gets plus one to her dice roll. Three gone. So that's one gone. She's now going to try and take out these two. She's got two more actions left. Missed. Another one gone. So Eva goes up to two, so I'll just pause it and move it up. Okay, that's Eva's go over. We now have Troy, he's got the sword off. He could move forward and do a bit of damage. Um, what Troy is going to do is he's going to take one action to move down his second action is to shoot his sword off shotgun at this zombie here to try and kill him off. So he's got two dice to get three or more. And he's got him. Bang! So that's good. Again I'll pause it and move him up the scale. Okay, that's all Troy's going to do. We now have Ivy. Now she has the evil twins um, she can't shoot anything from where she is. Um, so what she's going to do... Uh, decisions, decisions... She's going to take a bit of a risk. One action to move up. She's got two more actions to shoot them. So she needs a 
four or more. Four and a one, so that's one of them gone. Last action, five and a one. So she's managed to get rid of two. I'll move her up the scale in a minute. Um, so that's Ivy over with. And we finally finish off with Chaz. Now he can't attack anybody. So what Chaz is going to do, he's going to search again. It's no canned food, it's not a weapon. And he's got a submachine gun. So Chaz is going to move his machete out of the way. And equip himself with a machete submachine gun. Range of 0 to 1. Now he's used one go to search. So his second action is to move up, and his third action is to try and mow down that zombie there with his submachine gun, which is three dice to get a five or more. And he's got it. So that zombie is dead. So I'll just pause it here before I do the zombie phase, just to move them up their um, experience ladder. Okay, we're now going to do zombie phase. So we'll move the easiest ones first, which will be this guy. He will go that way, because it's the quickest route. Those two, because they can see a survivor, will move this way. That one, it's got one, two, three, one, two, three, four, so he will move this way. That one will split. Ah, uh, hold on, you've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three. So it will move that way and this one will come down. So you could argue that he would split, but because that is the quickest route to the, the, the nearest sound, that's why he hasn't split. So we're now spawn. One walker. That zone up there. One walker. This zone down here. One walker. And finally, this zone over here. One walker. So I'll finish the video off there. Um, all four of them have had a go. And on the next video, it will be the next four rounds. So they're in a bit of a... Not a bad situation at the moment. I think it's time to start entering the room and getting that token. So I'll just give you a quick sort of zoom round. And until the next video, as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys later.